I should have killed you. I should have killed you. I wish you had. I saw her last night. I saw her face. Brown hair. Brown eyes. She smiled at me. She reached down and kissed my cheek. I can almost remember a smell. It was like desert flowers. Her favorite perfume. It's my mother. I don't even know her name. Sorry, son. Go ahead and cry. <laughs> Go ahead and cry. Cry. Cry until you cry. Don't touch me! Maybe once you were my father. But you're not now and you never will be. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I got news for you. I didn't come here to see you. I came here to see my son. My real son. The one inside of you. You're nothing but a superficial shell. A husk of flimsy consciousness ready to be torn off at a moment's notice. You can think what you like. I don't care. Just go. Now, son, listen to me. I want a cure for me. My cells can transform, too. Absorb enormous amounts of energy. But unlike you, they're unstable. So I need your strength. I gave you life. Now you must give it back to me. Only a million times more radiant, more powerful. Stop! Stop! What? Stop! What? Think about all those men out there in their uniforms, barking and swallowing orders, inflicting their petty rule over the entire globe. Think of all the harm they've done to you, to me, to humanity. And know this, that we can make them and their flags and their anthems and their governments disappear in a flash. You, he and me, I'd rather die. <laughs> oh, that's your answer. That indeed you shall die and be reborn. A hero of the kind that walked the earth. Long before the pale religions of civilization infected humanity's soul. No!